Hi friends, just wanted to open another bag today. This one was $25 at a secondhand store. I'm going to try and go through it quickly. Some little kids cut glass, kind of pretty. It's not real. Great for dress ups or just a bling for the evening. But it's still pretty. Okay, lots and lots of 50s jewelry in the last couple bags. Another bracelet. Looks like somebody's really um, attached that one pretty, crumbled it pretty well. Just looking for a maker's mark or anything. It's, uh, it doesn't look real. But um, it was kind of bent in. But anyway, that's a cute bracelet. More 50s. This one is broken now. Another 50s necklace. It's got the, the 50s hook and Whatever. Lots and lots of those in the last bag. The last bag had tons of clip-on earrings as well. Just a kid's, not even a very good kid's, um, the necklace is broken, the clasp is broken on it, so that's just going right into the get rid of pile. Um, Christmas. It's a Christmas bracelet. I take these to the old folks home and let the old uh, let the patients pick what they want out of it. It's a daughter that might be interested in that. Not sure, but we'll see. Okay, this is a mess. But I kind of like these these kind of messes. Usually there's some gold or silver in one of these kind of a necklace messes. So we're not going to pull on that. We're going to let that go on its own. Alright, so this is a necklace. Um, it's one of those kind of a pull chain kind. You can see that it's clearly... Uh, this might be silver right here, so I'm going to put that in the check it later pile. Um, that's kind of pretty. I always look on the tag. It's just from etc. It's not a really great, exciting thing. I have a daughter that might be interested in that. I think that's really pretty also not really expensive or anything it's just but it's kind of fun Let's see if they want that lots and lots of these 50s jewelry lots and lots of these 50s chokers loving it I love these there's earrings to go with um, from the other bag looking at. it's very fun oh look how pretty that is my daughter has a 50s dress that would look really pretty with. So just some kind of some fun. Oh, it's missing a couple of jewels. Yeah, sometimes they're in the bottom of the bag. If not, we'll just put it in the recycle. Donate. Yeah, I have a daughter that looks really good in these type of necklaces, so we'll just ask her about them. The watch band garbage. Um, family ties keep us connected. It's a little family. If it's new, I'll put it in a bag and give it to my nephews and nieces for a party price when we play family games or something. Alright, this is not good. What is going on here? you got to be careful when you're cleaning these out because you don't want to pull and break a gold chain, which I have done before. Um... I know for sure my kids will not wear that, so I'll just put that right into the Ask the Nephews and Nieces about. Seiko, Safety Award, something, sports. 
150. Um, I don't know. I have to look that up. Somebody's trying to sell it at a yard sale to take a watch. I'll just look that up. It's American Eagle watch. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. When my girls serve as missionaries, they need watches, so sometimes they can use those. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody's going to be interested in that. We'll put that in the donate pile. This one is missing the back. Sometimes they're in the bag, sometimes they're not in the bag. I don't know, this one's looks like it can be fixed pretty easily. It's a lace necklace. I mean, uh, just tie on. Look how pretty that is. Or a headband, maybe? Either way, it can easily be fixed and it's very cute, so I'll put it in the dress ups. These are the wrap around several times the wrist kind of watches. I know my kids are not interested in that, but um, so we'll put that in the get rid of. These are little studs, screws. They actually screw in. Little nuts on the back. I know they're not interested in those either. Just a cheap ring from like etc. or IC or somewhere. I'm 99% sure that is not real, and or this one right here. They just don't look real. I do not know where my magnet ended up. Oh, right here. Doesn't even, I, it's not magnetic, but I don't think they're like bronze or something. They just don't have the look. There's no markings. They're kind of lightweight. You can hear it kind of tinny. It's not, there's no, no, um, to them. Definitely a later model on that bracelet. Um, looks like pewter, maybe silver. It's a Titac. It may have some markings. Can't tell. Kind of looks like pewter. Doesn't have any markings for silver. Hmm. Put that in the check it out. These are watch bands people made back in the, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Like this. They would get these and make their own bands. There's a lady that is interested in the watches, so I just saved them for her, but there's not a lot of value in those anymore. Um, best friends necklace. Yeah, no, nothing. Recycle away on the charm there. Alright, I don't see any markings on this. It feels kind of light. And there's copper coming through. I don't know if you can see that. So it won't be magnetic because it's silver over copper. So usually I just throw those right in the recycle bin. One could be silver. Doesn't it's not super shiny. Yep, nine two five. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let's try this. Can you see the nine two five in there? Right there. Hopefully you can see it. So that is silver. So that's one piece of silver. Yay for that. Pretty drop, teardrop kind of an earring. 
All right. This is interesting. Do not. Doesn't look like silver. It actually, it's copper plate. I can see the copper plate. So I don't even know. That's kind of a weird design, anyway. Maybe the rings are not supposed to be on there. Oh no, the ring isn't supposed to be on there. Just wrapped around. So you can see the necklace is not. So that just goes in the donate um, pile. And. It's cop you can see the copper coming through on those, but just check them. Always check them. So that's a ring and a pinky ring. I guess it went on one finger and the other finger. So this one I can also see the copper plate coming through on. So it's not going to be magnetic, but you can kind of see the copper, the copper coming through. So that just goes in the recycle bin. Um. <laughs> looks like something on there could be but no I always just look for a tag that has a name brand on it anyway just in case but um, nothing and it looks like there could be a couple together just just always double check pull them apart and double check because one one might be magnetic and the other one's just stuck to it and pulling in because it's stuck to it but these, I think, are all together on one. Yeah, they're all together on one long chain so that the whole thing is not magnetic. I don't know that my girls would like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, yep, this is silver. This is great. This cute little bracelet. And you can see by the um, clasp, it's a little bit more quality. And then right here on these... You can see Italy 925, hopefully. Okay, so that says what on it? Italy, right there. And then the other side, we usually say 925. Or is that Italy too? No, nope, that's a designer's mark. But here's where it gets tricky on these. Okay, so 95 on both of those clasp sides. But even if those didn't say it, right there on that teeny, teeny, tiny little part on the clasp, right there, it'll usually say 925. And it does. So you always have to double check the teeniest little marks. Let's see if I can get it in there. Right there. So always take your jeweler's loop. Let's see if you can see it through the jeweler's loop as well. Right there. That teeny little mark. So always double check. So that's silver. That's really cute and adorable. Yay for that. Always love it when you get some silver or gold inside. Uh, you can see the copper coming through on that one. So just recycle. Uh, it's kind of a uh, bedazzle something or other there. Nobody's going to want that at my house, I know. Um, this one looks like a little ivory, maybe a uh, cut. So sometimes if you take the back off, yep, no, it's magnetic, so it's a newer plastic. Sometimes it's hard to tell on those. Um, these whiter types are often silver. So can you see how it's kind of wide through here? Oftentimes those now they're making cheaper ones to match, but oftentimes those are silver. See how it's not magnetic? Um, and there's usually somewhere on it where it will say um, there will be writing. Okay, I can feel it right there. Okay, you're going to be surprised at how teeny this is. So if you run your finger along the inside of the hook, you can feel some roughness. 
you won't be able to see it without a, a scope. Let's see if you can see it. Like this. I don't know. <coughs> so if there's some roughness, you run your finger along it. I have to get it just right or you're not going to be able to see it. Okay, it's right. So teeny. It has to be exactly right. So always, always check it's right there. Can you see that? I'm trying to get it big enough you can see it. So what does that say? Can you see it? What it says? So if they're taking the time to mark that, there's got to be something. So it's either going to be white gold or silver. That says it might be a designer mark. I think it's a designer mark. S U T H. Which means the silver is going to be stamped somewhere else. Anyway, they're not going to take the time to stamp it that low if it's not a value. So I'm going to put the back back on that. Hopefully the other one is in there. Anyway, so those kind of wide, always check on those wide. Um, Pierce, pierced earrings. This does not look silver. It is not very heavy. Let me see if I can see some copper coming through. It looks like a plate. Yeah, there's copper. I can see copper. Um, and it's very light. If it was really uh, silver, it would be kind of heavier than that. But this looks like real silver. And let's see if I can show you the, where it's stamped. Come on. Where are you? It just has that look of being silver. I might need to polish it up in order to be able to see it. And it could be on the outside. Anyway. It just looks and feels real. I don't want to take the time to find out for you, but I'm showing you on these other silver pieces so you can see them. Another interesting tie tack. It looks like it's not. It's um, not real. It's just. Not, just tell. Copper coming through this one. If you look at a jeweler's loop and you look through it and you see pink at all, that's usually copper coming through. And so it won't be magnetic. So you just have to do a little bit more research. <clears throat> but because it's so teeny, I have a daughter that might be interested because there's not a lot of copper showing through. Okay, this is stamped. I have to look at with my loop for a minute. Be patient. Okay, it says. Oh, I don't know what it says. It's stamped right on the. Hopefully, it's stamped on the other side a little bit better. Nope, <laughs> it's stamped right over 
several different pieces of metal. So I'm having a hard time seeing what it says. Well, maybe you can tell me. So I mean, it's going to take me a little bit longer to look this up because it's got some maker's marks. There's like, so it's a custom made. It's several different types of metal. It's stamped. Right. And it's got designer's marks on it. You see that right in there. I'm not doing very well, am I? Anyway, it's right in there, and it's right, right. Uh, anyway, so it is stamped. It does look like it has either brass or gold in it. It's not magnetic. It's got silver and copper entwined with what looks like could be gold and so I'm really excited about that. It's very very heavy. It look it's got a designer mark on it. So hopefully I was hoping I could find a it almost looks like Something that would have been made at uh, like South Dakota or something. I mean, it's pretty big. It's a definitely a man's. Well, I got big wrists, so that's exciting. I'm excited about that one. I want to look into that one a little bit more. All right. Um, earrings. This is obviously a cheap charm brand, <laughs> cheap chain. Kind of a big bling. I don't know. A little kid might like that. Maybe I'll put that in the dress ups. Earrings. I don't know if my kids would like that, but I kind of think that's fun. I don't think it's real. Nope, but it's just fun. All right. That is kind of fun as well. I like that. I think one of my daughters might like that. So I'll put that aside. Holy cow. This is gorgeous. Look at that. That just made my whole bag right there. Look at that filigree on the side. And it's definitely marked. I can see some marks. Uh, there's a maker's mark, the cubic zirconia, so the jewel is not real. Made in China, 925. That's beautiful. Cubic zirconia, silver, filigree, it's very, very, very pretty. It needs a cleaning, it's filthy. Very pretty. I'm liking that one. That was fun to find in the bag. Makes me really appreciate the bag. Okay, teeny little watch. It's another Seiko. Very small wrist person. But, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Would you wear that is the question. Don't know, but I like the clasp. I love those clasps. I'll have to look up the maker. I don't know. That's a fun one. I don't know that anybody would wear it, but more power to them if they do. When Faith Endures, Trek to Eternity 2005. It's a keychain that is no longer together. It's a little charm like type thing. I don't know if it's, I don't think most people would want it if they weren't involved. But Oh, another fun. I think this one's real too. There's the other drop earring. All right, let's look. It says 925, but it almost looks plated because the 925 isn't stamped. But it's still cute. Let me show you, see if you can see it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. All 
All right. I'll show you if you can, hopefully you can see it. So in there is the 925, but it looks like it's not crisp. It looks like it's been dipped. So it looks like it might be a China fake, but it's still very dainty and the, the stone is very pretty. So not magnetic. Very cute. So it's stamp 925. We won't know. Here's the other earring to that other one that I was that has a maker's mark or designer's mark on it that's not magnetic, so I'm pretty sure those are silver. Um it's a tie tack. Not real attractive. Sometimes the back of the tie tack is um not like this clasp is not but the front is so the, the front might be silver and then the back is not so sometimes you have to look for marks and see if you can find any on there i'm not seeing any but sometimes with these kind of things they just have it on the packaging itself so um it's only see it's worth only sticking where it's touching the metal. So I don't know on that one. I'll have to look a little closer on that one too. Um, okay. Funky ring. I think it goes with something that came out of the other bag. But I am just going to put it in the recycle because you can see the copper is coming through. So I'm just going to recycle it. I don't want to take the time. Sometimes these are silver, sometimes they're not. This one is not, so I'm going to go ahead and stick it right into, well, I'll just donate it. I was going to say sometimes I put it in the recycle bin, but I'm not going to. Um, this looks fake, but it also looks real. So I'm struggling on this one because this actually, some of these look real, but the clasp does not. So what I'm wondering is if somebody used real silver beads See how it's not magnetic? To make this and then used a cheap clasp because these beads look like they could be real silver and they are not magnetic. So it's got a, a weird, weird look to it. So I may double check on those as well because they look like they are real beads and they are not magnetic. So there's that. Let's see if there's any more fun rings down here. There is a pewter looking mountain goat pin with some markings. And I'd, get, I'd have to go look it up. It says T something, but anyway. Always look them up because sometimes even though they're not exciting to you, they might be exciting to somebody else. That's not working very well. Anyway, there's you can see right there, there's some writing. So I just put those aside and look them up online and see if there's anything exciting. Those are really pretty. This was a uh, plated something or other. Looks like it was gold plated at one point because you see it's sticking. Um, there's a little um, angel tie tack. So that's fun. Um, the other pair of the earring and that is copper plated, but it's teeny and the kids have teeny fingers, so they may be interested. There's that other ivory looking one. This looks like aluminum, but it's I don't know. That's garbage. It's broken and it's magnetic. So another one of those. Um, hmm, that's not, but it's got copper coming through. So I think it went with those rings over there. Okay, cheap bracelets they brought on tour or something. A fun um, pearl bracelet. Obviously not real. There's no net. No uh, knots between them. This will go in my luau container. I keep those kind of things for um, 
And we have family reunions. So these are in the donates. And I don't like these kind of things. They always get caught on things. Nobody ever wears them. They just don't ever look good. So this is the nobody is going to wear it. I'm going to donate it because it gets in a knot mess. <laughs> see if there's a designer name on it, but I don't see one. So donate pile there. Donate pile. Nobody's going to wear that. One earring. A necklace that may or may not have all the pieces there. I'm not going to take the time to look at it. Um, oh, okay. Apparently that was like an Egyptian something or other. That other stuff has come off of, and I think nobody's going to want that because it's broken, so I'll put it right in the recycling. This looks fake. We already kind of looked at one like that, and I put it in the recycling. It's very plasticky or dress-ups or something. Oh, this is adorable. I like this. Like I said, you got to be careful when you have all these knotted chains because you can break them very easily. But look at this. It's a porthole. Isn't that cute? Off of a ship. That's adorable. Loving that. Really like that. That's fun. I would actually wear that. Imagine wearing that on a cruise. <laughs> it's brass. It's very cute. So that's a keeper. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to have to take the time to get through this. It's a mess. Um, here, we'll do it this way. Okay, here's a, a necklace. It's not looking magnetic. The one behind it is, but this one is not looking magnetic. So this might be silver. Let's look at this one. This is not looking... Oh, that looks silver. It does look silver. So, there it looks like there's a couple silver chains on here. What a mess. Really a mess. So, a couple silver. There's a copper. Don't need the copper. See if we can get that one off easily enough. A couple of copper ones, actually, it looks like. So, for the recap of this bag, while I'm trying to pull this apart, okay, so this is copper. Nobody's going to wear that. I'm going to just recycle that. Get off. Um, this fun brass little um, porthole. Porthole? Porthole? <laughs> porthole? Porthole. Um... Okay, this is that stupid necklace that's causing the problem. It's very thin. It's made in India kind of a feel to it. And um, it'll go right to recycling. This, I cannot get this apart. Anyway, there is silver in here. This one is not. This is another one that's causing a problem. It's got copper. It's a copper one. And it's wrapped around and causing problems. So you get one of these tiny little bright necklaces and it it gets starts collecting things and, but that's how gold is to find gold ones. See that's just another copper plated mess. Um, so it's kind of hard sometimes when you have um, a gold necklace because it's so fine it gets caught on everything and it causes problems. So I, I, you have to be careful when pulling these apart. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've gotten broken ones of these because somebody yanked on it, trying to get it off a knot. And you could tell they tried to get it off the knot, and then they gave up, and then it's broken. So that's a bummer. But right, okay. This clasp is broken on this, but what a fun necklace that is. I love the iridescent quality of that necklace. So I'm going to put a new clasp on it and see if one of my girls wants it, because that's really fun. And then there's that Indian looking one. Egypt may, Egyptian looking one maybe. Maybe in India. 
these lightweight chains just get stuck on everything. They're usually not aluminum. They're aluminum, so they're not magnetic. So they kind of throw you off, but they usually make a huge mess. See, it's not magnetic. Well, that part is, but the chain is not. And it's usually just um, causes a mess when you get them tied up with other things. So let me get that off of there. Come on. <laughs> Might have much luck. This one is not. Anyway, okay, so that's off, that's off. It's this one right here. No, nope, the chain is wrong for silver. It's not the right back loop. This one looks like the silver plated and the silver plating is coming off of it. This one is annoying. Okay. Another, the silver plated one. It's copper. Okay. So this was the one I thought might be real, but the chain looks wrong. Yep. Just a, a single pearl. So grandkids might like that for dress ups or just wearing to church type of thing. This is the other one I thought might be silver. It's wrapped onto this copper one, but the chain also, well, no, the chain actually doesn't look bad. Oh, my head's beeping. Come on, come off. Maybe if I just undo it. The chain actually looks like it might really be silver. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can find any markings on this. It's a designer brand. It's got a, a B on both sides of that. It's not magnetic. And let's see if I can find a silver marking on it somewhere. Hmm. I think that is silver. I'm going to have to look a little closer on there for the clap. Uh, see if I can find the markings. I don't know. It's very cute. Anyway, boy, that was hard to get out. So, oh wait. Nope, that's not. It looks like a designer marker though. This one has a some kind of a, I don't know, looks like a, a designer mark, but I'm hating the necklace. It's wrapped around a million things here. It's got a copper brace necklace that's stuck on it. But um, anyway, definitely I'll have to look up the marker mark and see if there's anything on this once I get the other one off, but there we go. That's kind of funky. I don't know. It's got a maker's mark, so I'll look that one up later with all the rest of it. This is one of my favorite things from today. Look at how fun that is. I like that. Little ship, sailing ship kind of a thing. That's totally brass. That's fun. I like that. Anyway, some fun things today. I really like that. This is weird. I don't have any idea what this is. Maybe a necklace. <laughs> Wrapped around a few times and tied. I don't know. Doesn't look like a real pearl either. So anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching. Oh, let's recap. So for sure designer. Sure markings. Looks like it could be gold on there. I can't read the writing very well. Earrings that have a designer mark on them are not magnetic. I'm sure there's a 925 on there somewhere. Silver brace or ring right there. Silver bracelet right there. Um, another little silver bracelet or a ring right there. Um, 
iffy on that chain and maybe on this one and I'm pretty sure that on is right there silver and then there's these two fun silver rings but, uh, silver. So, and then this fun necklace that I really really like and then the rest is just stuff I don't know my kids will like or not but we have lots and that was the $25 bag so thank you for watching and I hope you have a very blessed day Thank you.